Hey guys, I hope this isn't upside down. I've got that camera mounted. Kind of funny. Um, what I'm planning on doing today is running a performance test, right? I haven't gotten the update yet. The software update, 36.2.1. And I have been waiting to test the car before and after. So I got the uh, draggy device here and I found some, uh, well, we'll call it uh, maybe in an abandoned airfield, something, you know, it's not a public road, but I'm going to be able to run my car quarter mile, maybe even a half mile. Uh, what I want to do first is charge it. I'm here at the supercharger and I want to uh, charge it to whatever I have it set to now, maybe 75% or so. Go over to the uh, private abandoned airfield area and run my car a few times, get the data using the draggy device, come back here, uh, hopefully be able to perform the update. I'm going to try to do it using um, Wi-Fi hotspot on my phone so I don't have to go all the way back home. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to do that. But either way, come back here, charge the car up to the same exact uh, percentage charge, drive back over to the area, and rerun it a few times. Now, based on this app, the car has, uh, we'll, we'll say, 4,200 pounds. Um, I haven't had breakfast yet. And uh, 412 combined horsepower, we'll say. It is calculated to run a 1263 at uh, 113 miles an hour. Now, whether we get that or not, um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what matters is that when we get this alleged 5% improvement, which is a little over 20, 20 six more horsepower 412 um, so uh, 430 you know, I don't know why I can't uh, I can't think here 400 we'll call it 432 horsepower we should be able to run a 1243 again whether or not we can run that it doesn't matter the what matters is that difference so it should be able to pick up a couple tenths in a quarter mile and run uh, a couple more miles of trap speed right with five percent more power which you know yeah five percent of 412 I mean it's it's pretty significant you're talking 20 horsepower so uh, that's the plan we'll see how it goes again um, just trying to you know it's not extremely scientific but uh, I'm doing the best that I can it's a pretty cold day uh, the car says 45 degrees but I, I think it's actually colder than that but again it's just a matter of trying to get all the conditions the same um, before and after the update so uh, anyway here we go all right just starting to charge Let's see if I can get this zoomed in a little bit better here for us uh, but I'm going to uh, charge it to uh, wherever I have that line set. I'm not planning on moving it, but um, I think it's at about 75% uh, or so. You know, right about there. So uh, this is before, and um, as soon as that gets finished, which you know I had a pretty decent charge already so 10 minutes uh, we'll be on our way alright guys we're about to make our first run here alright let's go Alright guys, 
Run number two. Guys, run number three. Okay, so back at the supercharger, and I was able to connect my uh car the tesla up to the um up to uh, my phone using a wi-fi hotspot i am going to install this software update now i thought there was a way to do this without uh waiting these couple minutes but uh i don't remember what that is if there is a way uh, so I will, um, when this is updated, uh, I'll get back to you. Alright guys, uh, that took a while. Um, yeah, 5% increase. So, um, let's see if we got it. Uh, I still have to charge the car up, and then uh, then we'll get back to uh, running it and see what happened, okay? Okay, so i um, almost done charging back up to where we need to be, uh, but I was looking at the runs, what we came here for, and... This is uh, pretty amazing. Uh, first off, I wasn't sure even if it would run 1250s just because I had seen some other cars online running like 13.1s, 13.2s. So I thought, wow, um, I don't know, maybe they were, I don't know what they could have been doing wrong. But anyway, um, it made me, made me think maybe we couldn't even run 1250s. But not only did we run 1250s, but the difference between... Uh, the the fastest and slowest is four one hundredths of a second. I mean that that is in, incredibly uh, repeatable. I mean, wow. Uh, the mile an hour, all within half, 0.53 miles an hour from uh, again slowest to fastest. That's amazing. So um, other information. 0 to 60 time also within 0 0.08 no 438 430 yeah within 0 0.08 seconds uh that's again pretty incredible so we've got some um good results here something to to go off to compare uh charging is complete so uh we're going to get back over to our uh undisclosed private location and uh, run some more runs. Later. All right, guys, we are set up for the run. This is after the app update. Um, back charge to normal. Conditions are, you know, pretty much exactly as they were for the before run. So, uh, you know, let's uh, hope for good things here. Uh, let me get this. Set up to record this. I missed one of these recordings before. All right, guys, uh, let's go. guys uh, run number two let's 
see what happens. Right here. Here's where I feel it the most. Okay, third run. Uh, you know what? I realized I didn't. Um, I didn't hit the record button on the draggy on that last run. Um, also, uh, just so everybody's aware, the, I've had the HVAC system off for all of the runs. So uh, let's get going. Run number three. But again, uh, we'll go through the data in just a little bit. Um, forgot what else I wanted to uh, wanted to say something else. But uh, oh yeah, that first run that I did, uh, the very first run, uh, you know, I was thinking about doing a half mile because we kind of have that room here to do that and still be able to slow down. But um, it's. At that speed, it just, I mean, it was getting really, really fast. It did not feel that safe at all. So uh, that wasn't, I didn't think it was worth the risk. The quarter mile was plenty of information. Um, also, uh, you know, I don't know what this consumption thing here. Oh, here, this is what I wanted to show. These three, these are a lot more consistent than the other ones. And I don't know if this is really a good way to measure uh, how much um, power this thing is putting out for each of these runs because if you look geez, a if you look I think this was the very first run we had I mean that's significantly more power than these runs we had here I think it just kind of blurped them all together Maybe not, 900, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know, I really wish I had that, um, that scan my Tesla thing where we could get uh, a lot more data, but it would really be interesting to, to see where the power was. Um, I, I don't even know if this draggy device has all of the acceleration data in there too. It would be interesting to see where they put that power. Is it across the board? I thought that I was really feeling uh, something more, uh, more pull and, you know, again, just a couple seconds off the line, but who knows, maybe I'm just feeling things. Uh, it was faster. Um, and maybe it just pulled a little bit better the entire time. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we'll look at the numbers here soon. Also, is this autopilot stopping? No. That was interesting. It seemed like it was stopping for a stop sign or something. Okay. Um, see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys. Let's see if we can wrap this up. Um, we got pretty much the exact results that we expected. I mean, which, I don't know, it's pretty amazing so uh, maybe I'll record this screen but um, or, or put the numbers up but you can see first three runs all right very consistent we're talking uh, average of about 1254 okay at uh, 111 112 miles an hour do the updates charge the car to the exact amount um, turn the HVAC off, uh, everything pretty much exactly the same as it was. The weather was almost exactly the same. And we run pretty much two tenths better, right? Uh, average time on these three are about 1236. 
at 114 miles an hour. So we picked up a little over two miles an hour, uh, knocked off uh, a couple tenths. So, you know, wow, a little bit more than a couple tenths of a second. And this is just downloading the latest update. 5% more horsepower. And again, if you remember, using this calculate ET trap speed uh, based on horsepower, uh, you know, based on 4,200 pounds, 412 combined horsepower, which it used to have, looking at about a 1263 quarter mile here, uh, plug in another 5% more horsepower, approximately, and down to a 1243 at 115. So expected a couple tenths. We got a couple tenths. Um, this is awesome. Uh, I'm assuming the performance, Model 3 performance, also got 5% more horsepower, which would be even a bigger increase for, for it. Um, you know, back in the day when I um, had other cars, trying to get another 5% more horsepower would be very expensive and very difficult. I mean, you don't just add uh, 20 horsepower just like that, and we just did. So uh, it's pretty exciting. And actually, I don't know. I mean, I, I knew the car was supposed to run 1250s, but uh, it does. Now it runs 1230s. I mean, wow. Um, this is crazy. Okay, guys, uh, thanks very much for watching. And um, I'll have subscribe and stuff buttons on there. Please hit them because uh, I need subscribers. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.